uh, pastors hesitate to to share the uh, stories that don't make them look too good in light. But I remember uh, when there was a couple that had come to me, and I always, as a pastor, would struggle with um, someone knocks on your door at 8 o'clock at night, or they call you and say, I'm homeless, can you help me? And so it would be my, I would, I would put people up in motels. And this was when I was uh, in another state, and it was a number of years ago. Um, and I put this couple up in the motel for like seven nights. And then at the end of the seventh, the, the seventh day, I got a call again wanting me to put him up for another seven nights. And I thought, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm looking into this. I'm going to investigate this. So I went and I talked, actually talked to the manager and I talked to some people that were in the motel and found out that the persons um, were actually using drugs. Yeah. yeah. So I put them up in a motel to use drugs. And quite frankly, at that point in my life, it was because um, a lot of my own identity as a person, as a Christian, as a pastor, was coming from um, how well I cared for people, particularly the poor or the under-resourced or the needy. And so I could um, kind of pat myself on the back and say, well, Matthew 25, check that one off, Lord. Right. And it was at that time that I really began to look at, at my own life sure. and why I was struggling so much with what I knew was um, something that I shouldn't be doing, putting people up for seven nights without even being in a relationship with them. Sure. And that really uh, triggered me. And I found the books Toxic Charity mm -hmm. and uh, When Helping Hurts and began to realize that um, I had some toxicity in my own life. 